Well, hello and welcome to this channel update. I may be rambling a little bit in this one, so hang with me, but if that's what you're here for, then awesome. Let me tell you what is on tap. The 30K mark. This channel has surpassed 30,000 subscribers, actually. I think that happened a couple weeks ago, and we're several thousand past that. So I'm a bit late to that party, but I still wanted to acknowledge it. I also want to go into a little bit more detail on my aim lately, also in the present, and what to look for in the future of this channel. Like what I'm trying to do here, I think sometimes it's not what it used to be, and it's even going to change from how it is now. So I just want to keep people in the loop. I want to be honest and transparent with everybody what I'm actually doing here on YouTube so you can at least be on the same page with me. And then the last thing I want to talk about is this San Jose Shark season, one that is quickly concluding. In fact, my time doing hockey is going to end before the season actually does. I'll make the, the annual switch over to baseball season at the end of this month. So I'll get to the Sharks at the very end of this video. But first off, let me begin with saying thank you to all of you who are subscribers of this channel. 30,000 is a nice round number. Now I'm going to be honest. I go on YouTube, I see other channels that have 300,000 subs or 3 million subs. And of course, I'd like to be like those channels. And maybe someday it will get to that point. But I do think that there is a point to be made in acknowledging milestones and nice round numbers. I mean, it is what it is. And if you actually stop to think about what 30,000 people look like in real life, that's a lot of Major League Baseball stadiums that are almost full. And those people are all here watching this channel. And if I walked into a stadium and said, this is what the audience actually looks like, I'm pretty happy with that. So I like to put that into perspective. And I also, I don't know that I should sit here and make a video for, oh, when I get to 40,000 or 50,000, we'll do another state of the channel. This is not honestly to celebrate the milestone because I guess my, my goal is so much farther down the road that I want to acknowledge this, but I'm not here to throw a party for 30,000 or whatever we're at now, 30-something thousand. But yeah, when you actually think about 30,000 people, actual humans in real life, it's pretty impressive. And I'll, I'll take it back to when Twitter was in its early days. This is probably the early 2010s. And I remember having, I remember having 17,000 followers on there and thinking, wow, this is like, I'm looking inside the the full crowd at, at a, a Sharks game at SAP Center, and it's 17,562 back in the day. Wow, this is how many people are actually like following. And, and I'm saying that not to pat myself on the back. I'm saying it because it, it showcases the power that a platform like that has. I take it as a responsibility, a duty. Trust me, this is not some uh, uh, life accomplishment of mine. Ooh, look what I got to look how many subs. It's more of understanding the power that exists and the platform's power that exists to reach that many people on any regular basis. So for me, it's more of like a respect of the privilege type situation than anything else. But yeah, you start to look around and say, wow, that's what 17,000 people look like. And so in this case, yeah, that's what 30,000 people looks like, uh, is, an almost full baseball stadium. And I also want to say, uh, as I've walked around in public and seen people and been places, sporting events, I always appreciate those who come up to me and say, I've been watching you on YouTube. I really like the videos. Keep it up. I mean, that means so much to me because for years, and I still get it, it's all about the TV show. They saw a pregame show, a postgame show, but now it's a lot more the YouTube stuff. And that's great. I mean, that that lets me know that there is some power in this platform. There is a reason to keep pushing forward with it. And so that's obviously what I want to do. That established, all of this is a work in progress. Sometimes I still feel like I'm a trained television broadcaster who's just trying to pose here on YouTube and be one of the cool kids. Um, so I'm I'm still trying to navigate day job versus this. I'm trying to get better at being a YouTuber, finding out what videos make sense. I mean, there are some videos that I know I'm just going to do because I'm passionate about the topic or the conversation or whatever, and then they don't hit well. So be it. You know what? I followed my, followed my instincts and I'm going to do them anyway. And then there's other times where I say, I think my, I think the audience on here, they might like my perspective on this, what I can add to the conversation. And it goes well. 
And it may not have been something I initially was even thinking about doing, but I'm figuring out that balance. So all of this is a work in progress. And that kind of leads me to the entire next topic here. My new aim on this YouTube channel. Now, I mentioned before that I grew up as a broadcaster, right? I mean, in my late teen years, early 20s, got into this industry. And when I got into, into the industry, it was at a local television station. And the way it works is you put something on the air, like literally on the air, that's beamed out from an antenna and is, it reaches as many people as it can from that antenna, which in our case, Channel 36, it was up on the hill uh, atop Mission or, or Monument Peak just um, above Fremont and Milpitas, or it was on cable, but it was only the cable systems in the Bay Area. So your audience is going to be what it is. You're making content for people of the, what, nine Bay Area counties. That's it here in Northern California. And then I took my next job working for NBC Sports California, NBC Sports Bay Area, which used to be CSN, which used to be Comcast Sportsnet, but that's regional broadcasting. So now all of a sudden, it's people all the way up in Oregon. It's people all the way to, I think, Reno in Nevada, that, that far east. It's people down as far as maybe Fresno in the south. So now it's just a bigger landscape of an audience. So you're kind of tuning your brain into, and what do I mean by all this? Well, the topics, the things that we do, it's all catered to the audience. Well, here I am now on YouTube and realizing why am I doing content as if it's the local angle or the regional angle? This is a, forget national, this is like a global platform, YouTube. Some of you can literally watch this video on the other side of the world. You can be watching this tomorrow already. From, from little old me in my home studio here, that's the power of YouTube and the power of the internet and this global platform. So I say all that because my aim on this channel is for me to throw away the idea of me being a local broadcaster or a regional broadcaster. I want to approach national topics, global topics of sports, more topics of interest, because these are things that I have opinions and insights, and I can add to the conversation of what's going on here. And yes, some of that is also going to um, lend itself to growth of this channel, right? The more wide, uh, more wide of a net that I throw out there, uh, the more subscriber fish I'm going to catch. But again, that's not necessarily the aim or the goal here. It's to have the growth of the channel to a certain degree. I'm not going to just put out content to try and grow the channel. I want to do stuff I care about. I'm the one doing these videos. I want to have some passion that comes across behind it. So, so it is that growth, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to grow that the channel like that specifically. I'm trying to grow it in terms of what it actually is instead of anything else. And also it's personal growth for me. And it's the opportunity now to finally say, well gee, at work, I don't cover this story or that story. Well, here on YouTube, what's stopping me? And for some reason, it just it, it's something that I feel like use, I used to stop myself. Nobody's ever stopped me. I stopped myself because I thought, well, that's, I shouldn't, I don't know if I should go there or I could. Now I'm going to go there. It's that simple. And I probably should have been doing this a long time ago. All of that established, let me come back to something that is right in my wheelhouse and that's the San Jose Sharks, of which I'm ending year number 15, season 15 of covering the San Jose Sharks. It's gone by like that. It really has. I remember my first broadcast and Randy and Drew tossing it to me. And I was, I don't even know what I said. I was very squirrely in the moment. But I've calmed things down. I've slowed things down since. And I have to say, like of all the years, the initial 10 years at first, playoffs every year and going to the Stanley Cup final and Western Conference finals over and over and over. And now this is going to be five straight years on the outside of the playoffs looking in. But I have to say it's this it's been this year despite the team struggling and as I record this they're currently in last place of the entire NHL. It's been during this season where they've really torn it down to the studs. Traded away Tomas Hurdle, no more Brent Burns, no more Eric Carlson. Uh, Jumbo and Patty have both retired. Joe Pavelski has been on the Dallas Stars now forever. All that stuff established. My love for this team and its history and my connection to it and its fan base and the arena and the people involved with the team, like my love has been renewed for this team during the most 
like tumultuous of times. I've realized that I like, I want to double down on this right here, right now. And I can't even describe maybe what it is. It's just, it's seeing it, seeing it at this point, seeing it at, at some of its highest points ever, and now seeing it at probably the lowest point it's ever been. They've never been in this long of a, this deep of a struggle for this long of a time. I just, I really appreciate what people on the fran- in the franchise are trying to do, how they're trying to do it, and knowing that someday they'll be back. And I will appreciate once again, maybe what we all got spoiled, um, we got spoiled with how good and how consistent they were for so many years. I don't wish it, I don't wish for them to struggle like this right now, but it's kind of like showing somebody loyalty. Like, hey, I got your back. I'll always be here for you. And I know it's, this is how sports works. Uh, things ebb and they flow and they'll be back someday. And, and on that note, like I can't wait to see when more people are excited again about the sharks. And I know people will even criticize me and say, well, wait, your YouTube channel, there, you haven't done many sharks videos this year. Aren't you the guy who was doing night shift after every game, what, two seasons ago? Yeah, that was me. And I want to see more coverage, but quite honestly... You know, they're, they, it is what it is. They're in a rebuilding. And I don't know if there's a specific appetite for me being that brutally honest about where they're at and what they're doing. It's, it's pretty clear. And they need to do it. And it's hard work. It's, it's kind of like nobody pays attention to the construction project when they're digging for the foundation. No, everybody wants to see when the paint goes on and when the final touches are added. You know what I mean? Like that's the, well, okay, now we're, you know, now we're into property brothers, right? When we find where we're going to put this and that, how's the lighting? What are the finishes? But nobody cares about, yeah, we're digging a trench. That's what we're doing over here today, right? And that's kind of what's going on with the sharks right now. So I want to do more coverage. I really do. But I just, I don't know that the appetite would be there on this channel. And I can't wait to do more and get back to that when the time is absolutely right for that. So I just wanted to say, because you never know. Like, you never know what the future brings. I've I've loved every single year of all the 15. And this one especially has brought me to the point where I realize how much I still love it under the hardest of, of times and circumstances surrounding it. So that's my channel update. Um, 12, 13 minutes or so. Not bad. I thought I was going to go a lot longer. But I just wanted to spell out those few things. Thank you so much for being here. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. As always, you've made it here to the end of the video. Thumbs up down below. That'll greatly help me and this channel. And also, don't forget to subscribe so I can definitely see you back here next time.